What's going on everybody? Rabe here and today we're taking a look at Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Refractor which is the new name for these guys apparently. That's fine, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, you buy it, you can call it whatever you want, right? Right. So, uh, here's Refractor in his robot mode in the packaging. You can see the accessories that come with him. A uh, big shield and a big laser gun or some such. Uh, you can see on the side here a nice image of Refractor. And on the back, you can see more of the same. The uh, robot mode, the v vehicle weapon mode? I don't know. You, guys, you, you tell me. You tell me, guys. What What is this? Um, I guess I'll find out once I take it out of the package whether or not it has like an actual handle or like little skids or something that's supposed to roll around on. Here he is with a Battlemasters figure. You can see the other Battlemasters here. Uh, I've not picked up this guy yet whose name escapes me at the moment, but it doesn't matter. And then, of course, collect three to build this original G1-esque camera mode, which is kind of a bummer, to be honest with you, because um, these figures, these deluxe figures, are 20 bucks a piece, and I, I don't know. I, I can't I can't decide how I feel about dropping $60 just to get a, uh, a camera mode. But we'll see. It might happen eventually, but right now... Uh, I'm just buying one to kind of see if I actually like the figure before I go drop in 40 more dollars for two more of these guys. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of the package and we're going to check him out in hand right now. So it's a ship then. <laughs> so here is Refractor guys in his vehicle mode. Um, and I have to say I'm actually impressed with some of the things they did. Uh, especially this uh, this windscreen made up of the chest plate of, I keep wanting to call him Reflector, Refractor. Um, it's just really well done. Honestly, uh, I, I, there's a lot of neat tricks to this figure, um, and and we'll show those off in a little bit. But for now, this is the uh, vehicle mode, I guess, if you wanna if you wanna call it that. Uh, it is just a, it's it's a, a gun on skis, with like a weird sniper rifle sticking out of it. I don't know. It's it's the b most bizarre thing I've ever seen. It's got a little fan on its butt. So you got that going on. <laughs> sure. So, really nice color scheme of purple and silvery gray. Uh, so, yeah, that's cool. Um, and uh, you can do this, I guess, which is a thing. I don't, I don't really know why you would, but you can. Um, so, you got, you got that. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really know what to say about this vehicle mode, to be honest with you. Uh, like I said, I do like how the transformation worked. It's got little skis there. Um, and then other than that, it's just got arms kind of on it sticking out. So let's just move right along to the robot mode transformation. So we're going to go ahead and unpeg this shield slash reason to buy two more. Uh, we're going to unpeg this, which I have a gripe about. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. This is the little piece that is on one member of Reflector, but not on the other two. It's like the leader. I can't remember whose name is who. I couldn't possibly care. Just so you know, <laughs> full disclosure. Um, but you take it off of the uh, chest slash abdomen area of the figure and put it on the back to be kind of like a thruster dealy. Uh, however... This is not a 5 millimeter port. Why on earth would you not make this a 5 millimeter peg? It's like I could see if maybe it was even just a tiny one to fit like uh, effect parts on. But no, it's just a straight up middle ground like this is I'm pretty sure uh, like Lego clip size. You know? Um, so 3 millimeter I guess. It's not five millimeter. Why? Why would you not make it five millimeter? What is possibly the reason to not make it five millimeter? I can't. Like my brain cannot wrap itself around that. Uh, it seems like it would be an obvious, obvious thing. I know there's got to be a reason because the, the this entire toy line is just five millimeter ports out the out the bum. 
So why why this isn't is just beyond me. There's got to be, like I said, there's got to be a reason. I don't know what it is. I can't figure out what it is. Anyway, there's five millimeter ports all over this thing. So we'll take this off. Yeah, that goes there. Uh, this piece unplugs here, flips in, and then flips in again to form the chest piece of refractor. And then if you want him to have it, you put this non five millimeter port right there on the chest and there you go, you got that. Then you go ahead and put the arms out to the side. Then you split the legs and take the feet off of the gun. He's holding a gun with his feet. That's how he does it. That's the magic. You flip these little skis in, flip these little skis in, flip the legs around, flip the feet up, flip the head up, if, if, if such a thing can be done. There you go. And uh, flip the hands out, I guess, too. Yeah, you want those hands. He needs hands. He can't, can't function without hands. Come on, hands. Do it. Do the hands. Come on, do the hands. All right, let's go. Come on. That's, that's enough. That's enough. You're making me, you're making me look like an idiot. <laughs> uh, here we go. There we go. All right. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to do this, too. Turn that around, and then flip that, and then flip that. And there you have Refractor in a robot mode. There is really uh, nothing to it. Honestly, uh, so but it's it's a nice figure uh, if I'm saying so he, he's got nice head movement up and down due to that transformation joint uh, He's got just hollow space in his back You know that is what it is. I guess uh, so you can flip his head rotate head left to right uh, He's got the thing unless you don't want it uh, arms go up in kind of that weird way that arms do sometimes that I'm not really that big a fan of and then of course they go all the way around he does have a double jointed elbow, which is really nice. Very cool. Uh, hello forearms though, so that's kind of not great. Uh, then he's got the rotating waist. Uh, legs go out. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got a nice knee bend, 90 degrees pretty much exactly. He's got a foot thing, and then he does have the foot tilt as well. Uh, so you can get some nice poses out of this guy. And I have to say, I like the sculpt. I like all the little greebles he's got on. He's got lots of greebles. This dude is sculpted so fine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and he does have that waist bubble, which is, you know, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, he's also got this gun, which uh, looks like some kind of crazy uh, Cybertronian Tommy gun. So he looks like some kind of like gangster dude. He's like, I'm going to get Dick Tracy. You know, kind of like that. Plus, he's got a shield, which is, that's, that's a thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, like, as a kind of army builder figure, this guy works great. He works great. Uh, I really do like him. I just can't decide if I 40 more dollars like him, if that makes any sense to you guys. Because, honestly... Uh, I'll put him in camera mode a couple of times, maybe, and other than that, he's just gonna hang out. Um, the previous incarnation, was it Titan's Return, maybe? Whichever one had Gnaw as a part of it, but it was like a $10 figure. I bought three of those, because I can handle $10 times three, that's not that big a deal, but $20 times three is a lot of money, especially for a figure He's on the small side. Even for a deluxe, he's on the small side. So here he is with uh, a Sideswipe, who is was like the smallest deluxe. And he's actually looks like either the same height or maybe even a hair taller than this guy. Um, and I get it. A lot of the plastic went into the accessories that you need to form the base and the, uh, you know, the, cam the zoom for the camera. But I don't know if I can justify that price right now. Uh, I hear rumors that there is a three pack coming out. And if that three pack has a discount attached to it, then I will probably totally go for that. And then, you know, even end up with four of these guys. 
uh, and that will be okay. But uh, for right now, and I apologize because I know a lot of you guys are waiting for that video that shows somebody making the entire camera and probably every single other person that has reviewed this figure has done all three and showed off the camera mode and I'm just not that guy. I'm sorry. I'm not that guy. I'm on a budget, man. Uh, but but uh, uh, that all that said, I really do like the figure and I've got nothing against if if you wanted to go and get three and make the camera i like i'm interested to see how it looks or how how sturdy it is and whatever uh i do like this guy i think he's a cool army builder like i've said i think he's a really great army builder figure um but i just can't personally justify twenty dollars uh you know per figure getting two more i'm totally happy that i got this one i totally think he's worth a twenty dollar uh twenty dollar investment for one uh, because he is a really nice figure. He's fun to play with. He's got that play that posability that doesn't get in the way of itself. Uh, he, his accessories are huge and ridiculous, and I, I really like that, honestly. I think that's really cool. Um, and his paint apps are great. His posability, like I said, is great. So I totally do recommend this figure. Uh, I recommend if you like the idea of getting three, go ahead and get three. I have no problem with that. Um, but for now, I'm not going to, but that's not a dig against the figure. It's just me trying to be more fiscally responsible. Uh, so I do overall recommend the figure, and uh, that's really all I have to say. And it's not, yeah, it's not anything, anything uh, remarkable there. But that's, that's it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching, as always. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you want to help me get two more, go ahead and uh, uh, check out my PayPal or my Patreon, and you can uh, maybe chip in a couple of bucks. I'll get some. I'll get two more. <laughs> we'll all have a camera, and it'll be fun. Uh, but, but besides that, if you want to see more videos, please uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, totally check out some of my other Transformer reviews. Uh, which I'll have more coming real soon, so stick around for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching, guys. I'm sorry I ranted. I, I don't know what I'm rambling about, but whatever. It's hot. It's like 95 degrees right now. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. There, there should be three of me.